what's happening in Red K Nation, what's happening in YouTube. I'm going to be posting video on both. So Today I want to go over some pre-trip techniques that I've learned over the years of driving trucks. So without hesitation, here's my 2018 Cascadia. This is a truck that I drive every day. So let's get started. Alrighty, so for our pre-trip inspection, the first thing we're going to look for is to make sure all of our forward-facing lights, marker lights, turn signals, high beams, low beams are on. You want to make sure the truck isn't leaning to the right or left, which could indicate a suspension problem. You're going to want to look underneath, make sure there's nothing dripping, hanging, anything like that. As you're walking around, you want to make sure that all your lights are working. You know, your tread depth should be 430 seconds. 430 seconds for your steer tire, 230 seconds for your drive and trailer tires. So, you should use a tire gauge on these to make sure your tread depth is correct. You also want to look at the front of your trailer to make sure your trailer's intact, there's no damage to the frame rails, the skid plate, anything like that. Make sure your lines are hooked up, they're good and tight. Make sure you got your red knob pushed in, this will help you detect air leaks. Want to look underneath, you want to check your skid plate, make sure it's in one piece, make sure there's nothing missing. Make sure it's not cracked, welds coming loose, anything like that. You're going to want to get underneath. You're going to make sure that your king pin is locked in place. If you look right in the middle right there, you can see that my king pin is locked in place with my fifth wheel. And of course my lights are working in the back. You want to make sure that your reflectors on these mud flaps are in place on both sides. You also want to make sure that all these reflectors that are down the side of the trailer, those are all in place. DOT will nail you for that if you're missing reflective tape. You want to check your landing gear, make sure that there's nothing missing, crack, dent, you know, anything out of the ordinary. And while you're under here, look at these ribs underneath your trailer, part of the structural support of the trailer. Under heavy load, if those ribs more than three are bent, they can put you out of service for that. These rails, silver one at the bottom, and there's a rail across the top. With these Great Dane trailers, both of those help with the structural integrity of the trailer. You want to make sure there's no damage to them also. You want to make sure all your lights are working. And again, 230 seconds tread depth on your trailer tires. You want to get under here and make sure both your pins are locked in place, which they are. Make sure there's no visible air leaks. Make sure that this, uh, the airlines that are dangling here, make sure that those are attached by springs, make sure they're not touching the ground. And again, check these frame rails and these ribs across the bottom of your trailer. Make sure those are in, all intact. Now with your key on, if you got an ABS issue, this yellow light will come on. So if that's on, that trailer needs service. It's not an out-of-service violation, but it needs to be serviced. And again, make sure that all your lights are working. So want to make sure your reflective tape, especially these ones at top right here, See these clear tapes on each side, those need to be present and accounted for. The red tape on a DOT bumper and across your bottom doors. Make sure your lights are working. The same thing on this side, you always want to walk around, check both your frame rails all the way down, all the way across, make sure all these red and silver stickers are in place or your reflective stickers all the way down. You know, there again on this side, you want to glance underneath here, make sure that your pins Make sure that the pins are firmly in place. Make sure they're locked in. So, which you can see, they both are pop, pop through and they're locked in. So, and again, your tread depth, 230 seconds, or yeah, 230 seconds on your drive tire, trailer tires, 430 seconds on your steers. Make sure your lights are working. Oh yeah, and another thing too, if you're not hauling a hazmat load, make sure these are empty. You know, some drivers are freaking lazy. They deliver a load and they leave the damn placards in there and I go to pick it up and guess what? I'm not hauling hazmat. So always make sure those are empty when you go to pick up a new trailer. You know, glance at this landing gear, make sure everything's intact, nothing's broke, missing, cracked, bent. You know, same thing with your tires. Make sure your mud flaps are in place. Make sure the reflective stickers there. You know, tires, 230 seconds, tread minimum. You know, glance underneath, make sure the skid plate's in good shape on the trailer. You know, the last thing you need is to lose a trailer because the skid plate's all rusted out. You know, and just kind of make sure you look at everything. Make sure all the lights are on and working, you know, with your tractor. 
you know, you just need to make sure that you check everything. Make sure you check your tread depths and stuff like that. You should also carry a tire gauge with you, you know, with our company here, 110 on the steers, 95 on the drives. That's what the company wants. So uh, this is the exterior walk around anyway. I'm going to pop the hood here in a little bit and walk you through what you need to look for under the hood. I didn't point it out in the video, but you also want to look at your hinges on your doors and your latches and stuff like that. Make sure there's no damage to those hinges or the latches or anything like that on the trailer doors. Very important. All right, now we're going to check under the hood. So first of all, you want to unlatch both of these. All right, we're going to check on the passenger side of this truck right now. So right now what we're going to look for is to make sure there's no leaks in these hoses, make sure there's nothing dripping, nothing like that. You're going to visualize everything under here. You want to look at your brakes. Um, I have automatic slack adjusters, but if you uh, push in your yellow knob and you go to pull this back, you should have no more than uh, about an inch and a half to two inch movement on this uh, slack adjuster. But with automatic slack adjusters, you really don't have to do that. Some of the older trucks you do. Now, I can't really show you how to look for your... Uh, your brake pads because I got dust covers on this truck and uh, I'm a company driver they usually take care of that so I usually don't really look at the brakes any unless I got an issue but you want to look at your water lines your hoses make sure nothing's leaking you want to check the tightness on this belt there should be no more than half an inch when you pull on it I think an inch is, is the most you're allowed slack but you want to make sure you just look at everything look at your frame rails your suspension shocks, make sure there's nothing broke, messing, cracked, bent. And then you want to do the same thing on the other side. On the other side, you know, you want to look at all these airlines coming out of here. Make sure there's no leaks, make sure everything's intact, there's no chaping, there's no cracks, no leaks. You know, under everything. So, you want to look at your uh, power steering pump, make sure it's full. For your reservoirs, it's like, well, look at these lines too. Make sure these lines aren't leaking anything. You know, look underneath. Make sure there's nothing dripping on the ground. All that stuff's an out of service violation. Now, I'm running a DD15 engine in this truck, so one of the things you want to do is you want to check the oil. That's where you check the oil at. Make sure it's full. Now, if it's down on the empty mark, which I'll show you, but if it's uh, down at the minimum mark, and I just shut my truck off, so that's not an accurate, but that minimum mark means it's a gallon empty. So my company doesn't even want me to touch it until it gets to that minimum mark, and then they want me to put a full gallon in there. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. You know, make sure your antifreeze is full, too. With these trucks, when they get down low, they'll shut off. So, And then that's, of course, where you put the oil in. But at any rate, you just want to make sure everything looks hunky-dory under here. And, uh, you know, you want to check, like again, like I said, you want to check your brakes. If you can look at the pads, you want to make sure you still got enough thickness on the pads, which I really can't because they got dust covers on this truck, so it's kind of hard to look at. I'm not crawling on the ground, so. But that concludes under the hood for the most part. All right, we're back inside the truck. So now we're gonna do a little bit of inspection inside the truck, okay? First of all, you're gonna to wanna to turn on the ignition and start it up. So the first thing you wanna do is uh, you wanna check our gauges here to make sure that our, our voltage is showing, which it is 14.2 volts. So you want to make sure you know where to look for your voltage gauge and your other gauges are functioning correctly. Your oil pressure gauge, your fuel diff pressure, your RPM gauge, speedometer, your uh, air pressure gauge, and your water temperature. You want to make sure all those gauges work. You want to make sure that everything's, you know, lit up. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to put on my four ways because you want to make sure that both of these lights come on, which they do. You can see that right there. Both four ways come on. 
Alrighty, then you also want to check your steering. You want to make sure there's no slack in your steering wheel. Make sure it turns freely. So as you can see, my steering wheel does pretty good. If you want to turn on your windshield wipers, make sure your diff your washer fluid works. So that's something they're going to look at if they ever DOT inspect you. And the next thing you want to do is you want to turn on your defroster and make sure that your defroster works. So you're going to turn that on, you're going to fill it. They're going to make sure your defroster comes on, so you want to make sure that that's done also. Other than that, you know, check your interior cab lights, make sure that all these lights come on. So as you can see, all my lights are working up there, so, you know, Especially driving a company truck, you want to make sure that all this stuff works. And if it doesn't, you want to contact your manager. That way, you know, you can get something done. You know, your driver manager, or if you're one of those lease operators, well, I guess you're stuck doing it. One last thing I almost forgot to tell you that you need to check is make sure that your city horn works. <laughs> and then make sure that your air horn also works up here. So... <laughs> Make sure both of those work because uh, the OT will look for that also and you need both of your horns to function. Okay, well this concludes the uh, pre-trip inspection part of my video. Um, I hope this taught you something. Um, just different things that I look for. You know, I, I need to buy a tire, you know, tread depth gauge. But really if you take a nickel and if you get the Lincoln's nose, that's at about 430 seconds close. So you can check it like that, you know, just make sure you got good tread on your tires. When you're looking at your tires also, look at the insides of the tires. Make sure there's no bulges, no rips, no tears. Um, you'd be surprised driving these big rigs, you know, you, you pick up crap and the tires don't even know it. Or you'll somehow you'll rip a piece of tread off and won't even know it. You know, a lot of these companies use recap tires. So, you know, they're not allowed on the steer, but they are allowed on the truck and on the trailer, you know, on the drive tires and trailer tires. So, you know, you want to look at the sidewalls of the tire, make sure that, you know, the tread and uh, the, the sidewall of the tire is not separating. Um, if they are, you need to contact your, your fleet manager or whatever, try to get road service out to replace that tire before you have a blowout going down the highway. And uh, when you have a blowout, you know it because if damn things go, they go off like cannons. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, today's hump day, it's Wednesday. I just got loaded out of uh, Maryland here and I'm about ready to hit the road and take this load to Ohio. So you all have a super fine day and we'll catch you later. This is Dave and I'm back quiet. Thanks for watching everybody and have a great day.